Okay, you're actually looking at my iPad, so I'm going to open up a contract of purchase and sale. And how do you edit it while you're on the fly? So this could be on any mobile device, and you may have to use a different editor, but I'm using uh, my iPad with PDF Expert and DocuSign. Okay, so up at the top right, you see the little arrow with the, the little box on the bottom. That always means go do something else. So I'm going to tap on that. And if you see, as I scroll over, I want to take a copy of this and copy it up to PDF Expert because I am going to edit it. Now this actually is just a basic contract, it has nothing on it, so I'm just going to test and show you what it would, could look like, okay? So I would scroll down, and if you can't scroll down, I find people get a bit confused about this because some apps allow you to scroll down, but sometimes you have to scroll to the side. Okay, so let's just take, um, this is actually a fillable PDF because, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to grab uh, text. And so if I wanted to add text up here, I just put my finger there and I can say, uh, we're going to offer you uh, 6 million just for the ease of, oops, I guess I would write it out. 6 million. Okay. Now, that text is too big, right? So we can just go minus, 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 minus. Maybe that's what we want. So then we can say done. But this is just a field, so we can move this around, right? So let's just say I put this here, okay? And then we're going to strike through. Here's the strike through up at the top. We're going to strike through that 5 million. And I just tapped on it. Now I could also run my fingers across it like this, okay, as well as, let's say I wanted that. If I tap on the word, the word strikes through. If I just tap on it, you, you could screw up by double tapping a whole bunch of things. See what I'm doing? It goes through everything, okay? So if you don't want that, you can just clear that. If I don't want that, I just clear that. If I don't want that, I clear it. If I don't want that, I clear it. If I want to add another text, to say six million. And again, my text default, I should change that, but we'll just go minus, minus six million, done. And then, let, you know, you'd go through the whole contract, obviously, however you want to do this. But now I'm done, so I say done. Okay, now I use that same top right on the iPad, that same um, symbol and I say open in. I always want to flatten the document because that means whatever I've just done, it's going to push it onto the, um, the, the document. Okay, so I'm going to flatten the document. And then I'm going to say to anyhow, we go import to DocuSign. Okay, there we go. That was my issue. Okay, so now the document here is here. So we don't want to sign now, we want to get signature, and we want to add a signer. This is how you normally do it, right? You want to add your client. So I'm just going to do a test, Fred Flintstone, he's my guy, and I'm going to just put my fake email that I don't use. Actually, I'm going to show you a trick too. If I type DG, it populates the email, and how you do that, um, well, actually, if you ask a request within this um, uh, course, I will always do what I can by adding little extra modules for you. So I'll show you how to do that on an iPad if everybody wants me to do that. So this is obviously a remote signer. Almost always you'll be using remote signer. I'm just going to do one person, but if you did two, you'd obviously add the second one. So here's the trick also I want to show you. So let's say you add Fred, you add Wilma, but you also want the other agent to get a copy once it's all done, right? Because you've made this document, and I know everyone goes, ah, I don't want to do that. But think about how much time it's going to save you, rather than what do you, what do you normally do? You get the document, the PDF, and then you take it and you send it to the agent anyhow. You're not adjusting it because you can't. Your clients have already signed it. It's a legal document. So you tap here. You can say agent's name their actual name, not agent's name, and their actual email. I'm just going to put DG again, okay? And you just want them to receive, sent a copy of the completed document. So once Fred has signed it, you get a copy, Fred gets a copy, the agent gets a copy. If Wilma's on here, 
once Fred get Fred is done and Wilma is done, you get everybody gets a copy of the completed uh, document, including the agent. Okay, so here we are. Where am I? So here's what our document looks like. So I'm just going to add a couple, uh, you know, signature. Uh, that's, it would be at the bottom, but I'm just going to add it there. An initial spot here, initial uh, here. You can also tap, so I'm tapping up top to put initial, but you can also just tap on here and then say signature, tap here and say initial, okay? So obviously these are all in the wrong spot. If you wanted to move them, you can. You just hover or uh, hold on to it and then you can move it down here. If you wanted to delete it, let's say I want to delete that, I tap on it and delete it. It's all good, like this one should be deleted too. And this is, should be deleted, I'm gonna do this properly for you guys, <laughs> okay. So another, there should be an initial here, initial there, and of course you scroll down now the signature. So once we send it off to Fred, Fred can sign it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, uh, this little tip, and uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the question section or in the Facebook group that I have created that's a closed group for realtors. All right, I'm signing out. Thanks, guys.